Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and I'm sorry I've been a bit missing on YouTube recently. I feel like I need to kind of sit down and catch up with you guys, which I will do definitely in today's video. But genuinely, I feel like since I've started my training and also my postgraduate degree from Harvard, um, that's been taking up so much of my time, which I don't feel like is a good excuse because I was a medical student and full-time vlogger and med school is hard. So I should be vlogging more. I almost don't even know like what you guys want to see and when I should pick my camera up so i'm just gonna vlog everything and hopefully you guys enjoy it and fall back into the swing of things um but yes i'm really busy and enjoying and absolutely enjoying is like an understatement like i adore my new job um for those of you who don't know i'm an obs and gynae trainee which means that i specialize in um medicine for women who are pregnant early pregnancy up until their delivery and one month postpartum and then gynecology which is overall um women's health so anything to do with the vagina the cervix the uterus the fallopian tubes the ovaries adhesions stuff like endometriosis uh gynae cancers urogynecology so pelvic floor problems um fertility like there's honestly so much involved in it that i could probably spend ages listing so i won't bore you but i absolutely love it i feel like it suits me and my personality so much and my team are just the most incredible and inspiring people so i've just been soaking it all in and yeah getting as involved as i can but i want to bring you guys along more um so today is my day off which is why i've managed to pick up the camera and i'm going to the gym and then at 11 o'clock i have an appointment to review my laser um i've had laser hair removal and the company just want to see how my because i've had about like nine sessions now and they want to see like how my growth is and what settings to set it on then i'm going to meet for coffee with one of my old uni friends which i'm really excited about um and in the evening i'm going to dinner in between i'm probably just going to try and be as efficient as i can and get like all my work done um fingers crossed i don't know it's my only day off guys i worked six days last week um and during my day off last week i slept for until 1 p.m until no 12 30 p.m that is how exhausted i was so i don't know how efficient i'll be but come along with me anyway let's go to the gym in the uk this is what we call Pissing it down. Actually, awful. Gross. So, my workout is done. I did legs today and I, the stair, the stair climber thing killed me because I was working six days last week I don't know if I already said this in the vlog but I didn't work out at all and that's so bad I took my gym kit to work but I just didn't have it in me to go I would come home and I'd watch Desperate Housewives I know I'm awful but yeah coming back after a week um, the stair master was a burner um but the week before that i worked out a lot i did a couple of blaze classes which is the like equivalent of barry's boot camp and i did some reformer pilates oh yeah last week i even booked a reformer pilates that i need to pay for in addition to my gym membership and i still slept through that on that was on my one day off that i told you guys about that i slept until 1 30. so yeah seeing as summer is around the corner as well there's added pressure to my already pressured gym workouts anyway let's go home. i need to shower before this laser session uh well laser review session and i need to grab some stuff from brent cross as well anyway so i need to get my ass into gear
So, I'm just getting ready to go for dinner. My lunch plans got cancelled because I came home from the gym and my mum was feeling really unwell and she was saying that she had like pain in one ear and a headache. So I examined her and from her history I thought she had something called BPPV. Um, what you guys can look up but it's like to do with the ear and then I like did this maneuver on her called Epley's maneuver but I just wanted to like make sure she was okay after so I had to cancel my lunch plans but she's totally fine now she's now gone out um and I am at home but I did some revision and I had my lunch like you guys saw and now I'm getting ready to go out for dinner I'm just going in with like this other pomade that Sol has that she doesn't use, that she's just left in her room. And I'm using that. By the way, this is so random, but I've actually noticed that my skin looks so much nicer when I don't put Sheer Loose Powder when I'm at work because I wear face masks always in operating theatres. We don't need them on the wards anymore. After COVID, we've like, hospitals don't, I thought we would be wearing them forever, but we don't. Um, but yeah, when I go to operate, obviously I have to wear them and it wipes off your makeup. Um, and I feel like when I don't wear shadows powder, funnily enough, my makeup lasts longer. And also with my surgical hat as well, it lasts longer without it, which is weird. I thought it would be the opposite. So yeah, I only really use this when I'm going out just to give me like a more matte, matte sheen kind of look. And voila, this is matte look and then i'm going in with my dior bronzer i don't even know what shade this is because it's wiped off on a side note just like some my hair looks so awful guys some life update i like i told you at the start of this vlog i have been absolutely loving my job i don't think there's anything that i am more grateful for right now other than the basics of you know health and happiness and like my family's health um yeah there's nothing that makes me more happy right now than my job and sometimes i literally get tearful at how lucky i am to have a job that i love so much and like some of the things that we do actually causes all for me so i absolutely love it and if any of you guys are considering it as a career i would say don't let the competition ratios put you off if you want to do something and you think it will make you happy you should keep applying for it until you get in because you know ultimately this is going to be the rest of your life so you don't want to be spending oh my god my hair is bugging me out sorry you don't want to be spending the rest of your life doing something or wishing that you were doing something that you actually enjoyed so whether that is in medicine or in anything that you guys are interested in just make sure you're doing what makes you happy and keep trying until you get there you might not get in it in the beginning but if you show dedication and actually work hard for it then you will get in i also do think working hard will always get you some answers it's true that you can work smart not hard for some things but i do think hard work doesn't go unnoticed and usually doesn't go unrewarded it's something that you can rely on so in your life if you're ever wondering what can i do more just try try your absolute best and your hardest and i'm sure it will pay off and i'm sure you'll see results even if that's like i don't know a diet fitness or something that you and working towards if you give it your 100 percent then you're much more likely to see results and also you'll be proud of yourself because you know that this is the the absolute best that you've given and there's nothing more you could have tried so yes for my lips i'm going in with nyx brown pencil and then this cream kind of lip cream in Istanbul. I also caved today and bought the Rode phone case with lip balm because I was thinking that is just so convenient because my lips are always dry especially after I operate like the first thing I want is lip balm so if my phone is on the side and it's got lip balm in the case convenience you know. Bye have fun. Come show my vlog your outfit. This guy Sol bought a new gym gear look how gorgeous look at her body. Pow 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 Pow. That is goals, guys. <laughs> so, I love your cupboard. I love coming in here and taking your stuff. I know, I've noticed and I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut my hair. Not much, just, you know, liven it up a little bit. 
guys i did my botox yesterday and look oh it's already taken so long i know how good is that Amazing. i'm trying to get angry not that i get angry <laughs> Have fun. I love you. Love you too. Very, very nice. I bought deodorant again and again and again. <laughs> Where is it? In my bag. Do you want it? I need a deodorant. I was oh, going to buy one today. And I, I literally had so much shopping I wanted to do today. Do you want today. it now? No. And I rushed home from Brent Cross because of mummy. I didn't do anything. I didn't buy anything that I needed. I'm going to slick my hair back because it is genuinely like day three hair and I realised that when someone in the gym today told me you have such lovely hair and I was like yeah but it doesn't really hold any styles and she was like you've got curls in still and I was like shoot I did those curls like I don't know three days ago so yeah I'm going to tie up my hair into a pony and then I like it when you do a slick pony yeah it looks good doesn't it Ouch, are you going to do a high pony I'll try and go as high as I can and then I'm going to wash it tonight. Oh, me too. I find that this brush really helps with my slicker hairstyles and it's called the Cam 2 hairbrush. So, this is it slicked up and then I'm just going to press it all down with some gel. If it's like day two, I usually use hairspray. I use hairspray for day one or day two. Uh oh. Real low on gel, guys. I feel like I'm low on everything, like running out of all of my supplies. And I feel like I say that in all my vlogs, but it's true. This is my outfit of the night so it's like a one shoulder top from PLT, and this jacket is Zara. These jeans are super old PLT, and my trainers are from Nike and then for jewels I'm wearing these simple hoops this part of my hair is sticking out I clip my hair up just for convenience and then I think I'm going to stick this Van Cleef necklace on just to jazz it up a little bit there we go and we are good to go <laughs> Let's unbox my Hermes shopping. So the ribbons are off because I'm impatient. But first things first, I saw this and couldn't say no because they are stunning and I really need a belt. It is the Kelly belt in black, Epsom leather with rose gold hardware. It's like this, goes inside and locks gorgeous it's adjustable on the strap 
and so pretty um i feel like i could extend it so that i can not only wear it as a waist belt but i can wear it like around my hips as well so i'll get loads of use out of this one next up i feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of Hermes shoes um i already own these shoes in a different color and i love them they're really comfortable the only thing i would say is that they are really slippy so be careful what surface you wear them on because you don't want to slip and fall as i almost found out in mykonos but this color i just couldn't say no to you guys it is an absolute dream and if you can't guess my favorite color i'll give you a clue i'm wearing it ah so pretty look at that so so gorgeous like i am obsessed there's one more thing that i'm getting but they didn't have my size so hopefully they'll have it this week they'll let me know um but it's another pair of shoes so stay tuned for more i'm literally so obsessed um i know this was a bit of a chaotic vlog but i feel like that's my life nowadays um and i'm just really happy but really busy as well at the same time and i'm really grateful for you guys who stick around and who watch and who like want to be a part of my life journey with me because it honestly means so much to me and i love you guys so much if you have any particular questions i might do a sit down q a for my next video or as part of my next vlog so let me know um write some questions in the description or maybe i'll put a question box actually on my instagram so make sure you follow me at persian bunny and i will see you guys in the next one love you bye